Hey everyone, how's it going? And uh, welcome to the start of the brand new Survival Let's Play. We are going to be using 1.15.2 until uh, 1.16 comes out officially. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the start to a new series. I'm looking forward to it. I already have some great plans for it. I know it's been three months since I last uploaded, but uh, yeah, just forget about all that. That's in the past. We're going to move on forward and uh, try to upload as consistently as possible. And hopefully you guys are all excited for this. I did put a poll out uh, to see if you guys want to see a hardcore series or a normal survival let's play. And it seemed like the majority voted for survival let's play, uh, just a regular vanilla sur uh, survival. So I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, so I'm excited to get started again. This is going to be, uh, I think, like, I don't even know how many times I've done survival let's play. But I want to try to uh, just have some fun with this one and get all your suggestions in the comment sections. So go ahead and let me know. But I'm going to release the seed already in the first episode. I usually hold off and release it in the second episode. Uh, but I figured it's best for me just to do that now if anyone's interested to follow along with that. Uh, but yeah, so I have a few plans. I have a few objectives for the first episode. One of which is going to be to start like building a starter area. Um, and I have a theme for that. It's going to be a campsite. I figured that would be a cool idea because one, I don't really want to build a cabin and then never use it again because it is going to be a starter area. But I figured using a campsite would be pretty cool because one, if I build around it, it'll still look pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make ourselves a crafting table. We're going to use, this is really nice to have, this is convenient. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves um, some basic tools real quick. And then I definitely want to go and explore and do some mining. I am going to be streaming. I actually streamed yesterday a little bit and we had a lot of people. So thank you again. And thank you for the new members who joined. Um, I do appreciate that. So let's go ahead and just make some basic stuff. Uh, you know what I'm going to make? I'm make a shovel. We will need a shovel because um, there is a cool plan I want to make when it comes to um, with this camp campsite. Is it already turning night? But I saw a few sheep here. We're going to go and get those so we can actually make ourselves a bed. Um, now, the only problem was when I was thinking about this was, one, if I am going to be making a campsite, I don't really have wool. So we're going to have to kind of make it out of wood, which I think is totally fine. Uh, we need a little bit more. Okay, let's grab some berries for some food. Forgot about that. There's a few cave systems around here. We can definitely check that out. Um, but I definitely have to find at least one more sheep from here oh there we go perfect our last final sheep water sheep okay and let's just break this go to the top here we go let's go ahead and craft ourselves i think we can all right we're gonna have to actually place this down i wish there was an easier way oh wait there is hold on bed perfect done i like it uh let's go get some rest real quick um but yeah this is i'm really looking forward to this now for the whole plan for this series is kind of just to really focus on my builds and try to do something really nice. So let's go ahead. I want to go and collect as much wood as possible. And I'm actually going to start with getting some uh, supplies first. Uh, I also have a special uh, realm, survival realm coming up for members only. So if you're a member already, you have access to this survival realm, which is pretty much a server that you can join and build and take part in. So if you want to become a member, just click that join button. Uh, we already have a few members. Uh, I am going to try to do a giveaway where I'm going to allow maybe an additional two extra people to join who are not members. So if you guys want to be part of this, let me know. And just check out my Discord so you get all the updates on all this type of information. But I think this is enough stone for now. Oh, whoa. Looks like there's already lava down there. Probably do a little bit of mining just so we can get some resources. At least get some iron too. I hear something. There we go. Do we not have a sword? I don't think I made a sword. So I'm going to use my wooden axe. Hopefully this guy falls down here. Will he fall? Nope. He's smart. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to chop down some more trees. We need at least 30 of each. So I, I want to get oak and a lot of spruce. So what I'm going to do is instead of you guys seeing me cut down trees for like another few minutes, I'm actually going to cut... And I'm going to get all the supplies I need so we can build this uh, starter tent area. We're back. Uh, I have a lot of supplies now, enough for us to get started with this campsite. Um, yeah, there's just a little bit of things. As you can tell, most of it is going to be wood uh, because I don't have enough to get at least a stack of wool. There's no way I'm going to be able to accomplish that in the first episode. I'm also taking advantage and making some charcoal. Uh, we are going to make uh, campfires. And obviously, you can use coal, but this is an easy way to make more coal than if you don't have any. Uh, so yeah, just little little tip over there. But yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, this is again inspired by Biggs. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, I'll put a link down below in the description 
for his channel. But this is where I saw this uh, campfire site, and I figured this would be perfect uh, for us to go ahead and try to um, model off of. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different because we don't have um, all the wool we need. But what you're going to have to start doing is you have to make a box that's uh, by five. So we'll start right around... Let's start, um, hmm. let's do right here. One, two, three, four, five. So essentially this tent is going to be going a little bit underground so that it doesn't stay above surface. It is more of an advanced tent, I would say. Um, and it's gonna be really cool once we have a few of them lined up around here. And we'll definitely, uh, you know, try to fix this place and make it look really nice. All right, so the first thing that I was going to do was I am gonna have to make a lot more of this. We need at least 50. We actually need at least a stack. Um, so 58, we'll make one more. Perfect, that should be more than enough. So the first thing you can do is you're gonna place five around the edges. Same thing with this side, five on this side. Then you're going to place inside the same way, just five going across. Um, and then after that, you're going to go and build up like this. You're going to do the same on this side. You can do one more level. I know it is a lot of supplies. That's why I said I don't think it's going to be possible for me to uh, make this out of wool. We're going to have to put, of course, one more level here. Same thing with this side. All right, there we go. So once you have this, you're going to do what I did earlier, which is place the other layer inside. So now we're going to add... Oh, we have to make a lot more. I think we need more than just a stack. So 22 going on this side, going on that side. And then finally, you just close it up. You don't make another point. And there's a reason for all that uh, you will see. So let's go back down. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. If you are trying to follow along, uh, this is kind of how I'm doing it right now. So the next step is you're gonna need uh, your oak stairs. Now you can use anything you want with this, really. Uh, and then you're gonna put them upside down like this, then two slabs. And then afterwards, you're gonna close it up by putting, I believe it is, yep, one stair like this, right? Oh wait, this one here was a mistake close it in like that so two upside down staircases and then you're going to do the same thing but in a different ways you're just going to place them normally on the top okay like that and then you're going to place uh what was it an upside down staircase like that and then put a backward staircase and if you want you could put a little slab so that's going to be the look of it so as you can see from the front i think that looks really cool of course i was supposed to be using a uh, wool over here but because we don't have any, uh, we're just gonna have to work with what we got. So let me know in the comment sections. Of course, like I said, this build is inspired by uh, Biggs. Um, his channel link will be down below in the description. So definitely go and check it out. Uh, I think he uploaded it like three years ago. So it's been out for a while. So you probably are very familiar uh, with this whole design. From the sides, as you can tell, it looks really cool. It definitely feels more of like a little hut than a tent. Um, so we can even call it that a starter hut if that makes any sense. So I'm pretty happy with that The next thing you want to do is you're gonna want to uh, fix the inside. So we're gonna want to put slabs on the interior So we're just gonna cut around the front here take a few blocks out Now we're definitely gonna have to make a few more uh, Oaks uh, stairs, so let's go ahead and make a few more of those uh, Nope. Nope. We don't want that There we go Perfect. So we have 16. That's more than enough. So what you're going to want to do from the inside is not do that, but you're going to want to place it like this. An interior little area for you guys, like a little step down so it doesn't just look like a dirt block. And then inside, you're going to put your slabs. Check that out. That looks actually really, really good. I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. I thought it wasn't going to look as good considering the fact that we're not using any uh, wool. Um, but you still want to also texture a little bit more. Um, so what you can do is you can add, for example, a few blocks like this. You can take this block down. You can add a little bit of slabs around here just to add a little bit more texture to the sides. There we go. And yeah, a little bit beat down. I think this one you can't. Oh, you can do this one. Okay. Perfect. So something like that from the side would look pretty cool. We're going to repeat the same thing on this side. But we need to make a few more though. So let's go ahead, make a few more slabs. There we go. Let's make 12 should be 
plenty. And again, like you don't have to follow it exactly. Uh, the sides, you can just do however you wish to make it. And the whole idea is supposed to be a little bit beat down, a little bit run down. You can also do a little bit on the top here too. So let's see, I could probably remove this piece. Maybe even put something like this here. And we can even connect the top if we wish to. But yeah, that's the overall um, idea that I was going for. And I'm pretty happy with the with the turnout so far. We're still going to have to design it. And I'm going to do the whole landscape. And you guys are going to see the final product essentially at the end. Uh, the next thing I want to do is make stone wall. Uh, we only need one actually. We don't have to use all of it. Here we go. Stone wall. And we have our fences. So we're going to put a stone wall right in the front. And then fence posts going to the top. Let's see. Uh, let's try to get that all the way. There we go. Perfect. Up to the top like that. We could put a lantern, but I don't have any iron. I was still having a hard time firing iron. Uh, but I want to get a, a lead. And essentially, it, you can use like an animal and put them in a hole. I know it sounds bad, but the final product looks really cool. But we don't have that stuff yet. Uh, like I said, eventually, this will all be transformed. So the inside, what we could do is we could add a fence posts on this side. Like that. That way... Um, we're kind of closed off from the outside. That doesn't look half bad. And then once from the inside, we can place down our bed. So let's go ahead and grab our bed, which is right behind here. Perfect. And we can even put the bed like this. You'll see. We can put it in the ground. And if you don't want the dirt to show, you can put something else. So what I had in mind of doing was actually using the oak logs. So they would look something like this and like that so let's see how that looks final product boom really simple not too not too crazy but it is it does the job we're gonna get our crafting table we're gonna get our furnace we have anything inside here let's go ahead and take our furnace down uh we'll take the barrel i think everything will fit in my inventory hopefully uh yes it does okay great now the barrel can also go around the edges here now i was almost thinking of because this is closed off we might as well just do something like along the lines of this um let's see if i can pull this off here so we're gonna have to go get our shovel where's the shovel there we go there we go and we can put a few barrels like this so we can make a few more barrels uh we have our crafting table with us crafting table can go underneath check this out just like that and over here we can put ourselves a little furnace like that so we have ourselves a little bit of the necessities so let's go ahead and craft ourselves uh, a few more barrels do we have any more slabs yeah we do okay cool and then uh we need to make a few more so let's go ahead and do that we have 11. Okay, at least one more barrel will be enough for us. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut to the scene where we're going to actually design the outside. So you guys can see that. But let's go to bed real quick. And yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, by the way, I was shot by a skeleton uh, while I was trying to prepare this part. So yeah, there goes that. Um, there we go. That's what I wanted. And then we can put one more facing like this. Perfect. We could put something in the middle. Uh, let's see. What could we put in there? We can't really do a campfire. Because that would burn... Oh, there's a zombie already trying to make his way in. One thing that we could probably do is maybe make a blast furnace. So let's go ahead and make a blast furnace real quick. So what we're going to need... I forget. It's uh, logs. Okay, that's pretty easy. We have enough of that. Good thing the zombie died. That was pretty nice. So something like this. Perfect. So we have a smoker, not a blast furnace. Uh, that way we can cook some food a lot faster. Which is definitely what you're going to need in the starter house. Um, let's go throw away some of that stuff. Okay, perfect. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with this. I would like to put some trapdoors too. Um, you, you obviously know I like to work with trapdoors as much as I can. They are definitely always add a lot to the design. So, something like this could work. Very simple around the edges and the top. Actually, not that part. I'll take that down. But that's perfect. Something very simple like this. You can even add it right on the ground here. I think that is actually really, really good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly design the outside. 
and then uh, we'll be back in a second and we can end off today's first episode. All right, everyone, I'm back from finally designing uh, the finished product. Uh, as you can tell, I've gathered some more materials so we can have some lanterns and some more decorative blocks. Uh, I've got a little bit of iron, not too much. Um, so yeah, I'm about to show you guys the finished product and here we go So what I've done is I added a few gates just so we can kind of protect ourselves from any mobs And as you walk up to the top, you can see that I've done a little bit of terraforming just push back the blocks a little bit more I added uh, some more seeds around here or some more grass just kind of give it that little bit of an overgrown look to it I put a little a few fences around here just so it kind of makes it feel a little bit more enclosed And as you can tell uh, the biggest thing in the middle here is the campfire itself I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely like this. I like the way that this came out too. Um, it looks really interesting. It kind of adds a little bit more look to it. And I just put a few barrels here just for aesthetics. And yeah, so this is the finished product. I put a little lantern on the top. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for the first episode of the Return of the Survival Let's Play. Uh, hopefully, you guys really like this first build. You're going to see a lot more of these in the next few episodes. So just stay tuned. Make sure you hit that notification bell and are subscribed. And yeah, let me know in the comments any feedback you may have on what I should continue adding to our Survival Let's Play. Thanks again for watching. My name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.